Welcome to This Week in West Hempstead, sponsored this week by Stern and Spiegel LLP 516-873-1683. Let us solve your problems. Take it away, David Norm. All right, Dan, thanks a lot. And uh, hey, Norm, what's happening? Oh, we're busy today. Yeah, real busy. You know, uh, spring is in the air and uh, the leaf blowers are all around. Uh, yeah. This morning there was a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, some sort of smog, you know, all around the area. And then I looked out, and there was there was guys who were doing my lawn, and uh, it, you know, I, I don't really get the leaf blower thing, and I think we'll probably devote a whole segment to them at, <laughs> at some point. But uh, someone needs to outlaw them for sure. Huh. But, but I think you know, it's allergy season now, so people are going to be feeling it. Right. Yeah. So if you're wondering why we're not recording outside like we did last week, it's because it's full of smog and leaf blowers. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we can control the sound here. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to report that there's really, like, no major uh, crime incidents in West Hempstead for about the last uh, week or two going yeah. through the uh, Nassau County police blotter. So that's good news to report. Although uh, yesterday um, there was something that took place on uh, Hempstead Avenue and uh, Spruce, Spruce Street, yeah. right? It looked like a domestic uh, dispute that the cops resolved or took them away or separated them, but whatever it was, it, it went away pretty quick. Like seven cars to handle yeah. a domestic dispute? Well, I, they don't know what they're up against when they arrive, you know, so, and I think there might have been an injury. There was an ambulance there. Oh, okay. Well, you know. That's the most excitement we get. Yeah, and, uh, you know, on the uh, Facebook West Hempstead Watch uh, site, there was a little bit of a, of a discussion. They didn't really know exactly what was going on. Perhaps you had more information than they did. Um, but they did say that there was a frat house on uh, Spruce and Hempstead Avenue, which I wasn't really aware of that, uh, you know, that there was a frat house. So yeah. I thought that was, you know, I don't, I don't know who's in there, but there's a bunch of apartments that are rented in that building. Yeah. So uh, moving along, uh, we got a pretty exciting story that's taking place uh, just east of us in uh, Uniondale or w what used to be East Garden City. And uh, Carvana is about to open up its uh, new facility. And yeah, they call it a, a car vending machine. Although I don't think I'll be dragging 200,000 quarters over there. To get <laughs> a beat up Chevy. But yeah, it's, I think it's just, you know, kind of a come on thing. They store their cars in this uh, tall tower off the Meadowbrook. Uh, it looks cool. I yeah, it does cool. look cool. And apparently it's the first of its kind in New York State. So, uh, so what happens if it's like, the other vending machines where like the bag of potato chips starts to come out and get stuck there. Well, you gotta have like King Kong go to the side of the building and just start shaking it No, I think you can bit. kick it. There's probably a place to <laughs> kick it and push it. <laughs> and uh, another news around uh, Nassau County, uh, to our south, we have a uh, wind farm that's uh, uh, trying to get off the ground. Yeah, they're building a wind farm for 700,000 homes to power them in 2000. 27, I think is their guesstimate, never happened in time, but uh, it's a nice, uh, nice effort. I mean, it's about 20 miles offshore of Long Beach. Um, probably won't see much, if any of it. Yeah. Um, but um, we're hoping it won't interfere with uh, migration of whales and things of that sort. Well, so see, we'll find out. It's definitely going to take some time. And uh, apparently there's, uh, I think, a Norwegian company that's uh, looking to kind of get things kick-started. And uh, there is opposition, and uh, uh, unfortunately we don't have Joe Verone uh, here today, but I'm sure that Joe would be able to give us some perspective on what are the pros and cons of building a wind farm that's uh, in our backyard. Well, these guys are betting a quarter of a billion dollars on this project, so I think uh, they're vested. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's some bet. So a little bit closer to home, uh, Norm and I took a, a trip uh, earlier this week to the Franklin Square Museum. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of uh, the people who are watching this have no idea about the Franklin Square Museum. I had no idea about it. We walk into this place that was built by a bunch of volunteers. The building was built by them. The implements that are inside and all the exhibits were put together by members of Franklin Square. You know, nonprofit um, donated land from I think the county or the town, mm -hmm. uh, and it's 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 spectacular. I mean, what, are they, what else uh, can you say about it? What are they covering it? in this museum? So the uh, the person who uh, who showed us, who also was really one of the uh, founders, his name is. Bill Youngfort, and uh, Bill is a uh, one of the leaders in Franklin Square, and he's on the library board, and he's the head Rotarian, and really involved in so many different yeah. things that are all things Franklin Square. He, along with other folks, including his wife, uh, who has a role in a major role in the historical society, they put together 
all these artifacts from the 1700, I don't know if there's anything from the 1700s, well, but certainly well from the 1800s. They have farm 19, implements yeah. from, from the farms that were all part of West Hempstead, Franklin Square, going all the way down to Suffolk County. Yeah, they had uh, fire equipment from the, you know, from the first uh, fire department, and everything was really laid out in such a really professional and inviting way. I was really taken back by the fact that uh, that this exists. So, you know uh, the coolest thing I heard? There's, there used to be a Franklin Square Bank, and the Franklin Square Bank printed its own money. Yes. American money. U.S. currency under the name Franklin Bank. <laughs> yeah, it would be great to, to get some of that money. And, uh, they, <laughs> they have one dollar, well, a, bill, a, a bill. five dollar bill is Very cool. uh, is there, and there's so many other incredible artifacts. Uh, it's on Naples Avenue in Franklin Square, and uh, it would really be great for uh, for you to go visit. Yeah, they're open once a month, and it's worth giving them a call and finding out the date. So now we're going to have a a word from our sponsor from uh, IND. Glot Market on Hempstead Avenue. Shop at IND Glot. We have everything for you for Pesach. Fully lines of groceries, meat and chicken department, and the best takeout for the holiday. I wish all of my customers a happy Chak Kasher V'Sameach for you and your family, for my IND Glot families. And we're back. We're talking about libraries, uh, which uh, Bill has a major role in Franklin Square. The West Hempstead Library, I know the children's uh, section is opened. I'm not sure if anything else has advanced in the last week or two, but we are gonna be meeting with the library director in the coming weeks, and we will get a full update on what's going on. We I did can tell you, I, did, I actually stopped in the other night, because I happened to be there anyway. Um, looks fantastic, really does. They, they did a, a terrific job, and we saw the preview, but it's, it's really nice, go stop in. Uh, they'd be happy to have you come in and bring your kids in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, one of the events that they seem to be having uh, over the next few weeks is something called solar printing, which sounded to me really interesting until I found out that it's only for grades 6 through 12. So <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily uh, for well, me. Well, it's a great idea. I mean, you're turning kids on to science and engineering. They're going to do some artwork using the sun as a yes. power tool. Yep. You, and uh, that I think it's a great idea. Yeah, you get a kit and uh, you get access to a video, yep. and apparently you learn how to make art using the sun. Check so, it in the uh, library. It's definitely worth following up with for your kids. We just don't look at the sun directly. <laughs> uh, and uh, so we got a couple of other exciting things coming up. Uh, Norm, the, uh, there's a passport sign-up, and I hear that things are not going so quickly uh, at the passport office these days. The passport office is three months behind now. Ooh. So if you are looking to do something this summer, now is the time. So the, uh, the town is really putting something together. It's a weekend passport days at Hempstead Town. It's Sunday, April 23rd from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's by appointment only. You do require some documents to be brought proof of uh, citizenship or proof of location. Um, check in with them. Some things have to be signed in front of them. You can't do it all on your own. Go there, they will help you through it. Yeah, definitely great uh, to get things expedited. That's uh, over on Washington Street, town of Hempstead, I assume offices. Yes. I actually, I happen to have gone over there recently to get my kids' passports renewed. Um, you'll also need a checkbook with you. There's uh, uh, costs that have to go both to the State Department as well as to the Town of Hempstead for processing fees. So absolutely check to make sure you have everything you need with you. Otherwise, you're going to have to run home and get stuff, which, by the way, I have done in the past. So. <laughs> yeah. We have a new uh, segment this week, Entertainment Around Town. And uh, this week it's sponsored by Tiffany Dry Cleaners. Uh, Tiffany Dry Cleaners will do pickup and delivery anywhere in West Hempstead or for Nassau County and Queens uh, for that matter. Franklin Square, Dogwood, help yourself. Anywhere you want to go, they do an amazing job. All your dry cleaning and clothing needs, go to Tiffany Cleaners. So Norm, what do we have going on uh, this week? Well, around town in Malvern, we have uh, movies showing on Shazam, Fury of the Gods, Champions, The Lost King, Moving On, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, The Quiet Girl, Upcoming at the Avenue. One second, what is this uh, I, Mordechai? Yeah, it's another movie. I, I have no idea. I, I, I didn't I, get a chance to preview that one. I think it's, Dan knows about I, it. I only it's, know it's got Judd Hirsch. Oh, it. yes, yes. I don't know anything oh, oh, about it second. except I've seen the answer. Isn't he a survivor? He's a survivor in Miami Beach, and he gets a cell phone, and apparently there's some discovery that he has with this cell phone. So that's... 
That, I think that's that's about all we need go, to know. Go, go to the Malvern, go watch the Which movie. Which is really good, because I don't know Tell about any happens. of these other movies. I don't know. So, um, ne neither do I. <laughs> Upcoming at the Avenue is Big Mouth at the Avenue on Friday the 31st. Italian Dance Party is a Saturday, April 15th. And the Mafia Princess Murders, Friday, April 28th. And every Wednesday evening after 9 o'clock is Jam at... Uh, Creative Corner. The uh, Mafia Princess Murders. Don't ask me. What is that? You go to the Avenue website and you find out. No, but I, is it a, I, is I it assume a dinner? It's a, is it a... I don't know. We're going to have to do if reviews. If you have to ask, you probably don't want <laughs> yeah, to. All right, you know what? It's uh, Listen, we love the Avenue, formerly known as the G, so, you know, I'm sure whatever it is, it's 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 a lot of fun. You know what? When they come in and visit us, we'll be talking to them about <laughs> it. All right, so uh, that'll wrap it up uh, for this week in West Hempstead. Thank you, Norm. Thank you, Dan. And uh, join us next week. Thanks, everybody. If you'd like to sponsor this program, much like Stern & Spiegel, Tiffany Dry Cleaners, and, in fact, IND, please reach out to us at sales at westhempsteadecho.com.